get started in ARC, you can divide your initial effort into the following activities. Building registration, project setup, project team setup, and data management. Let's start with building registration. All lead registered and certified buildings are already in ARC. Log into ARC at www.arcscoreroo.com. You can use the same login information as USGBC. If you don't already have a login, welcome to ARC. It's simple to create a new user account. Simply click on Login and then Create One. This will take you to an account creation page. Once you've completed that information and created a username and password, you're ready to log into ARC. Any project you have access to in Lead Online, you should have access to in ARC. After signing in, locate your project by lead ID or project name. If you can't remember the project name, look for it by address on USGBC's project directory. Click on the project name, sign the standard agreement, and get started. You can review the agreement ahead of assigning it. Let's take a closer look at registering a new project. First, sign into your account and select Add a Project. Complete the registration page and payment screen, and you're ready to get started adding data and generating your performance score. Now that your project is registered, let's talk about project setup. To get started with project information, ARC contains three key metrics needed to generate a score, gross square footage, operating hours, and occupancy. A score will only generate when all three of these metrics have been included. For gross floor area, enter the size of the building. Generally, the gross floor area is the sum of the floor areas of the spaces within the building, including basements, mezzanine, and intermediate floored tiers and penthouses. For operating hours, enter the weekly operating hours for the building. Typically, review the average time the building operates during the weekday and if this changes during the weekend. For occupancy, enter the number of people typically in the building. Ensure this number includes any visitors to the building and any part-time staff members. A calculator has been provided to assist with accounting for a building's operating hours and occupants. Next, let's set up your project team. You will need the email IDs of the team members you'd like to add to the building's profile in ARC. Before adding new team members, make sure they have an account with USGBC. Simply type in the email to add them to the project team, and they will be notified of their status. The next time they log into ARC, they will see the project in their dashboard. The person activating the profile in ARC will be identified as the ARC administrator. This access level provides the team member with edit access to all aspects in the project. There can be more than one ARC administrator. Team manager and team member offer the same level of access to edit and view information in ARC. When you activate a LEED certified building in ARC, you will see a pre-populated list of team members. These are people who had access to the project in LEED Online for the building's initial LEED certification. If you are the ARC administrator, you can retain the team or change any of the access levels to none. Changing the access level to none prevents an individual from accessing the project in ARC. Getting your project team set up ensures appropriate access for anyone working on the project. We encourage you to prepare and manage your data with the project team. The final critical step in getting your project set up in ARC is data management. Data management includes an initial assessment of the data needed and research to determine the ideal way to input that data. Deciding which of these options is right for you will be best informed by the data management research you conduct. A blended approach to data collection and input can also work in ARC. For example, you may start with energy and water data being synced from Energy Star Portfolio Manager and then conduct activities to collect the rest of the information. This concludes Module 2, Getting Started. In the next module, we'll take a closer look at the data and methodology for attaining your score. Now that we've reviewed the four critical setup activities, you are ready to take a deep dive into the data needed to generate a performance score. Take a moment to review the information in the last module and update your project plan activity sheet with relevant information.